Recently, I launched my Pro Vertical plugin for Final Cut Pro, which set out to completely change the way people work with vertical video inside of Final Cut Pro. Over the last two months, I have been working on an update to add in all of the most highly requested features for Pro Vertical. The first item I've added is if you go in to add your social guides for Pro Vertical, then we take a look inside of our title inspector. You'll notice in the UI style that I've added a lot more options. We now have Instagram stories, Facebook reels, Facebook stories, Amazon reviews, and of course, X aka Twitter. Many websites such as Twitter will offer a square preview window before a user clicks on the video. So I've gone ahead and added a square preview safety zone, which you can enable. And now we can clearly see if this video content will be visible as the viewer is scrolling through their timeline. Then at the bottom of the social guides, I've also added the option of sharpening. So if you find that your video quality is just a tad on the blurry side, you can go ahead and sharpen that up by clicking on the sharpening here. You can adjust the radius and amount as much as you would like. And then when you're ready to export, you can go down to prepare for export and then select no UI and rotate and all of that sharpening will be added into your video. Another feature I added that I'm super excited about is this subtitle highlight. So now you have two title options. Go ahead and click and drag that onto your timeline. You can see my title here. We can move this around anywhere we would like on the screen. And of course we can type in whatever we want and that white box is going to automatically fit to our text. Now that I've added in that text, you'll see it's a little bit hard to read, but that's because this text is also animated. So if we go over to our title inspector, you'll see the text highlight option here at the very top. We can click to add a keyframe, then move forward for however long we want this text to write on and drag that all the way to the far right hand side. So if we push play, now it animates in really nicely. You can of course adjust all of the coloring to your liking, the scale. It's pretty much up to you how you want these subtitles to look for your videos. Next, I've added the option of a slow zoom. So you're no longer limited to just a single second. If you have a zoom that you need to go on for 10 minutes, I don't know why you would with vertical content, but you can do that. So if you go ahead and apply slow zoom here on your timeline, you'll see it gives you the same controls as anything else. And then we could zoom that in, we can adjust the position, and if we play out, you'll see that it's happening over the entire duration of this title. If I wanna slow that down, I just drag it out, and now it's a much slower zoom. Now, of course, you would want this zoom to be under your social guides, that way you don't get the edges zooming in like that, but you can see how this would be super powerful. Additionally, you can come up here and change what type of easing you have. So we have zoom in eased, zoom in accelerate, we have zoom in linear, or if you want, you could have it be a zoom out with any of those different options. Now, there is one factor that you should be aware of, and that is that the zoom in linear option does not work with this duration slider. That's just due to some limitations I had to work with inside of Apple Motion that I couldn't quite get over to Final Cut Pro. Hoping to address this issue someday, but for right now, I do have a great workaround. So if you want to use the linear zoom and then you want it to hold at the end, we can push option, click and drag, and that's going to duplicate that zoom. Then from there, we'll change it from zoom in linear over to zoom in hold, and now we will be locked into that final position. It's not as elegant as I would like it to be, and I'm hoping to be able to address this at some point in the future, but for right now, it does get the job done. Next on this list is I've added a shake animation preset. So let's say I wanted to animate this arrow kind of shaking around on the screen. I'll add that to my timeline. Let's go ahead and get rid of the build in and build out animations. Then from there, we can come on down down to the shake option and just apply that to that title. You already start to see that arrow kind of shaking around. We can go into our video inspector and adjust all of these different settings. So let's go ahead and drag up the amount, frequency, the noisiness. So this is gonna go absolutely crazy. And if we push play, you can see how much that is shaking. So you can apply this onto titles and graphics and even your videos if you wanna shake things up a bit. So those are all the new features found in Pro Vertical. This is a completely free update for anybody who has previously purchased as all future updates will be. If you wanna learn more about Pro Vertical and all of the various benefits it offers to Final Cut Pro, then you can check out this video where I show you just that. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.